and welcome to Stamping Within. You can find me on my blog at uh, stampingwithin.blogspot.co.uk and on various bits of social media. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Now then, today I'm doing a challenge. Uh, Gainer over in uh, Stamp With Joy has set us a sketch challenge this week. So, this is what I came up with, and uh, I'm going to have a go at recreating it uh, on video. So, this should be fun. <laughs> Get ready for warts and all. <laughs> right, I found some uh, I found some cardstock. Uh, this piece happens to be uh, four by eleven. So I've just scored it to uh, five and a half, four by five and a half. This is Melon Mambo. I found some, a scrap of DSP I'm going to use. This is from the Painted With Love uh, DSP pack that's in the uh, spring catalogue. Uh, that's uh, available till March, no, May, th <laughs> May 31st. <laughs> Beautiful paper, really thick, uh, double sided as you can see. Uh, coordinating colours are gold foil, calypso coral, powder pink, melon mambo, and rich raspberry. So, I shall cut a piece of that, or no, actually, I'm going to cut uh, three pieces, and I'm going to make them slightly bigger than that, uh, obviously, the same width. Well, the width to fit this, but slightly bigger. There's a bit too much open space there, I think. Uh, these were... Let's have a look. These were one and a half. So I'll probably do them to one and, one and three quarters, possibly. But uh, we'll see how it pans out, shall we? So let us begin. Let's put my card base to one side and we will trim this to the size we want. What you see is what you get here. Uh, I, don't, I don't tend to edit, edit my videos very often, so it's warts and all. <laughs> Mistakes, now that's four. So uh, if we have a narrow edge, That'd be three and seven eighths. Yeah. Or should I do it three and a quarter? I'll do it three and a quarter. Three and three three and three quarters. Get me fractions right. Oh dear. And I'll do these to one and one one and three quarters. And I need three of them. There's one. Another and there's another. Okay, I'll try and keep them in the same kind of position. Oh, that doesn't look too bad actually. All right, okay. Uh, am I done with the trimmer? Yes, I'm done with the trimmer. Pretty much. Right, so let's put those scraps to one side, out of the way, and let us uh, stick these down. Let's have a look, one there, one there, actually one and three quarters, was that a bit, no? No, that's alright, no, I'm quite happy with that. So, I should get my Adhesive of choice, uh, you, you can use whatever you'd like. I'm using Fast Fuse at the moment. Sorry to hear it's retiring because I finally mastered it. It took me a little while, but love it to bits now. Uh, I hope Stampin' Up! will bring out something similar. Uh, I find the snail too weak. Uh, the turn tape can be a little bit fiddly, although I do like it. Love Tombow, and that's really what I use most of the time. But for speed, you cannot beat a bit of. 
he says as it does it doesn't even come off. <laughs> oh dear me, there we go. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh there we go. I've been using this flawlessly for for weeks, but as soon as I do a video, bingo! <laughs> it decides to go, it decides to play, play whoops a daisy. Oh dear me. Yeah. I'm going to try and do these, I've done that the wrong way around. Never mind. Uh, those two will be the same. <laughs> those two will be the same way. <laughs> oh dear me. I'm having fun today. Put this one on. Down below. Make sure it's level. And then place this one. I'll try and get this one right. This middle one. And place this. You can still see what I'm doing, can't you? Yeah, excellent. Place this one. In the middle. There we go. Right. The next step is to uh, stamp our image. And for that, I'm going to use our Stamparatus, which I'm loving to bits. So glad I was, I was amongst the first. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, get some card. And, oh, magnets. I only tend to use one magnet because they are really, they're really quite strong, you know. As you can see. That there. I'm going to use the, I'm using the uh, Lots of Lavender. This is one of my favourite sets from uh, Celebrathon and it's one I will definitely not get rid of. Uh, I won't be able to use it for uh, demos and things after March the 31st because people won't be able to buy it or get it for free but until then I can use it you know what I'm looking for don't you I'm looking for the stamps I put them back that's why I can't find them <laughs> oh dear me I tell you what take me out back Right, I'm going to put that in there roughly in the middle uh, because I'm, I'm going to cut it out with one of the uh, stitched uh, shapes. So, little attach. These are so sticky, there's photopolymers, the paper just comes up, doesn't it? But, uh, yeah, anyway, using a stamp case just to go underneath where I'm inking because that. that kind of uh, makes it a bit more stable. Got my uh, basic black archival. And we'll just go over that. Like so. Looks pretty much looks really well inked up. Press it down. Just let the ink soak in. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Right. Close your ink pad up after you've done with it. Because, you know, fingers, elbows, bits of cardstock, they are like magnets to open stamp pads. Right. Just let that dry for a minute. I'm going to take this plate off, turn it round, like so, and put my other stamp on, which of course is in here. <clears throat> and I'm going to stamp it, so I'm going to stamp the flowers in. Uh, Calypso Coral, I 
think. That's one of the... Uh, colours. There we go. Pick that up. Coral. Ink this up. Lovely, that will do me. Take the time, just put it to one side. Finish with the stamp wrappers now. I've got a lemon lime marker here just for doing the leaves. Uh, I know that's not one of the colours, but uh, it's quite a nice colour. The light dab, like this, and lovely. I'll do the uh, bow in pink. I've got some powder pink here. Just, to, just adds a bit of a different colour. It's like this black isn't quite dry. It's a shame. So it's a bit of a dirty pink now. Never mind. Right, move those out of the way so I can bring the big shot out. a little bit of the base off which isn't uh, too much to worry about big shot away piece put some dimensionals on the back these are normal size ones we do uh, mini ones as well video might be a little bit longer than what I was anticipating but never mind I'm having fun and hopefully you're you're all enjoying it as well right the final bit is an embellishment uh, in this corner I'm not entirely sure what I've got that's current that will be suitable. I've got these hearts and stars. Maybe a star just there. Or maybe just a gem. Let's look at uh, 
Yes, we've got these uh, faceted gems. I'll put a large one just there. Why not? Eh? Every card needs a bit of bling. <laughs> and there we go. There's the completed card. Really simple, really quick. Really quite beautiful. Uh, one thing left to do, which I won't do on camera, is just do a, in, a, a, an inside uh, whisper white piece so it can be written on. So there's the one I've just made. And there's, there was the one I made earlier. This has been Stamping Within. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.